Some Valley police will tell you it's one of the toughest moments on the job. That split second decision on whether to shoot or not. All new on ABC 15 at 10, ABC 15 Steve Kuz shows us how officers are trained on when to pull the trigger. To get inside the minds of the officers involved in the Valley's more than 20 shootings so far this year, we're getting a taste of their rapid response training. I load a gun that shoots virtual bullets and strap into an officer's world. The first scenario is what they call the 21 foot drill. Out of nowhere, this guy over here is going to come at me, and I've just got to let my instincts take over. Yeah, exactly. As I interview a suspect, That's 82 and 1 South Hardy. Fumbling for my gun, I shoot the pretend attacker just as he stabs me with his knife. Both of us die in this scenario. It literally shocks a person in the system. It's like, well, I didn't believe that person get that far that fast. Officers are often asked, why don't they shoot someone in the leg or just to hurt the person? It's the question of, what do you have to do to survive this situation? Let's move on now to the virtual screen. This is where common 911 calls are acted out. You are responding to a call of a domestic dispute. Some of these situations feel frighteningly real. Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Set the child down and we can talk about this. I just shot a man holding a baby. Luckily, though, I made a clean hit and missed the infant. That's pretty scary. I don't even, he's holding a baby one second, and the next moment, he's got a gun pointed at me. Unfortunately, it does happen in, in, in today's society. You never know what people are going to do, and every circumstance is going to be different. And when getting back home safe to your family is the priority in all of this, sometimes there are no easy or obvious choices that come with wearing the badge. In Tempe, I'm Steve Kuj, ABC 15 News. Now to a developing story as we wait for a verdict in the John Edwards trial, a fifth day of deliberations and still no decision. But here's what is new. There's chatter about an alternate juror flirting with Edwards.